Okay, Polars continues. Any questions for plot and dots? Psh, probably not. Nine one. Anything? Nine one. Last call. Which one? Fourteen. Distance one. Which number was that? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Okay. Super. So, as with uh, your quiz, is going to be half calculator, half without. Okay. And 35 certainly is a calculator problem. So which formula do we use for distance? Well, <laughs> this is formula. All right. And I guess let's do this. We backtrack to Polars. Polars, there we go. Okay, how about sharing? All right. So do me a favor, read me the two points they gave you. Yeah, the ones they gave you. Uh, for three fifteen, got it. Going at six degrees, like that. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter what order you put them in. Just be consistent. Which is the. First R you see. Me too. Okay, so we're gonna put a four here and square it. And that makes one right there. And then it's four times one. And what did we say? The thetas doesn't matter what order you put them in. So you can do 60 minus a negative 315 or the other way around. Okay. And most common mistake, obviously, is you're in the wrong mode. So what mode do I need to be in? Evidently degrees. To the calculator we go. That's the Were you in the wrong mode? Am I in the wrong mode? Yes, I am. Glad I reminded myself. Okay. So big square root, four squared plus one squared, minus four, or two times four times one, times cosine, what was it again, 60 plus 315? Okay. So one decimal place would be what here? 3.0, you do need the zero. Yeah. Any questions, comments? Good. Yeah. You'll get the formula and the calculator for that part, obviously. Yeah. So that was 9.1. How about 9.2? Except for ske uh, sketching one of them, one dot at a time, the rest of them you were just supposed to calculate or Desmos and just copy them onto the paper. Anything you need to... Ask about there, 9 2. 17. Maybe. I think I'm in the wrong assignment here. Or not. Okay. Okay, so 17, did you want to do it by hand? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. So for this one, who knows what it, what it is? That's going to be a quiz question. Is that a circle, a limousine, lemniscuit, spiral of Archimedes? Which one? Circle. It is a circle, and... I, uh, for the life of me, what's the number in front of sign that you can't see? 
one. So this stupid thing only went out like one. I don't know. It was so small you couldn't hardly see it. So anyway, what are you supposed to be able to do besides plug it in your calculator and tell me that's the answer? You're supposed to plug in some thetas. You guys that already did this. All right, plug in a zero. What's sine four times zero? Zero. There's your first dot. And plug in 30. What's sine of four times 30? Is it like 0.5? Anybody do it? Calculator? You're going to have to do this, whoever asked about it. Got a calculator? Let's go. What is sine of four times 30? A sine of 120. What was it? Positive? Okay, so you said eight, six. Yeah. So not point nine, point nine. Anyway, you keep plugging them in and you keep plotting points, then you play connect the dots and you get a circle. Okay, so that's how you're going to do it. All right, which uh, axis did you expect it to be on if it said sine? Okay, so I do believe it looked like that and it only went up like one. So it was very hard to see even on the calculator. Okay, but plot those dots one at a time. There's zero, zero, you know, and so forth. All right, are we good with homework? Okay, those two were get acquainted. Today is the real deal. So let's get on with it. All right, wake your neighbor. Take those things off your head. Give this your best effort today. Quiz next time. Okay, today, polars, rectangular to polar and vice versa. They they got to prepare for yeah. Complex numbers. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Now don't stare directly into this. You'll burn your retinas. Well, okay, but a complex, I told you, just uh, glance, don't look directly. Okay. Uh, a plus BI is complex because it's part real. Part imagine it like your grades. So you will put all answers in this form with the A and the BI being last, of course. Part real, part imaginary. And let me see before I have you copy all of this. Yeah, not important. Uh, I wouldn't even bother copying this, but I just wanted to show it to you. All right. You know this as the x-axis and this as the y, but you, you do know, I hope, you're allowed to call them whatever you want. So if I gave you this 6 minus 3i, you could make 6 in the real direction, and where is negative three on the imaginary down, and the dot would be right there. So I don't think I'm going to use that at all, but maybe your calculus teacher next year will. 
Okay, so you could turn X and Y into whatever you want and plot it. Okay, put that done. All right, now before lunch, I think we can do these. Not this one, hang on. Nah, let's skip that. That's for non winners. <laughs> oh, and what's the hammer? <laughs> now, now. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> All right. See ya. Okay, guys. Sorry. All right, let's do this. Write these two down. They're both so complex. And this will be old news to you. We are going to do operations on them here. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide eventually. <laughs> Bang. Okay. So what do you think you're going to do when you add? You're going to add together like terms, I believe, was our phrase that pays. Why don't you do that? What would be your final answer? So easy. Nobody better miss addition. Sure. Yeah, and the A's, what you got? Four. Add the B's. Yeah. So that, that's it. That's it. Okay. What if you're the person that puts I plus four? Are you wrong? No, but I will be taking off the one point because you put it in BI plus A form. The heck is that? I want A plus BI. So put it in that form. Addition, easy. How about subtracting? Oh, I'm sorry. That was that was addition. So same problem. Subtract. What do I like you to do instead of subtract always? Add the, use my words. Add the negative. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. Okay. Also known as change to addition, also known as distribute that negative, yo. All right, so what is this now going to say? Plus and then change. And now you just change it to addition and you're good at addition. So add them. And what's your full credit answer here? Well, plus three options. Somebody will miss subtraction. Somebody, but should you should do well. All right, multiply binomial times binomial. Say the word. Okay, it is foil, and it probably will give us something fancy. But how about this? It's going to be foil with a twist. Yes. Well, with the twist. We'll do this one together. Boiling for okay. Boil. What do you get first? So close. Well, negative thirty-two. Okay. Outsides. <laughs> Negative eight I innards minus eight I get again. And then lost, what is two I times negative I? Negative two I times I is I squared. All right, write that down and then soak this in. What's the twist? This guy. Yeah, how about every time you see that guy? What are you allowed to turn it into? So I'm not hiding the ball here. It's going to change to negative one every single. 
you do I times I. So really, what did negative two turn into? So why don't you do cross out change? And now, what's I? I'm sorry, what's, what's A? Baby A, add the A's together. Negative 30 and the B's, how many are there? Okay, so star that one in the middle. Okay, the I squared will always change negative one, which means cross out change. So not minus two anymore, plus two. Okay. That was multiplied. I think we'll do divide when we get back. I know, exciting. Can't wait. We'll wait. <laughs> Okay, we left off with division. And here's the deal. They got to tell you which one to put upstairs and which one to put down. So write this one. Or we could have called no one's stack. It's the Lewis All right. So, how do we do this? Two ways. I guess I'll tell you the first way first. Factor and cancel if you can. What comes out of the top? Two. Okay. And what's left? Four plus I. I. We cross that out at my house. Okay. And uh, can we cross out four plus I with the button? Not yet. What could we pull out of both of these? It's a little tricky, right? Pull out a negative and show up what's left. Four plus I. So it's called factor and cancel. Exactly. Okay, so you factor now. When you cancel, what's left? Careful. Yeah, good call. Almost cross that out. It's negative two. Okay. And easy to lose track of the little negative sign. Oh, by the way. So if you can factor and cancel, me, I, I like that. So expect that. But calculus next year, they probably will give you something that won't factor or will factor and then won't cancel. So what's besides cry, what else can you do? Cry some more. Okay. No, 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 there we go. All right, you could multiply by complex conjugate. Have we done this before? We have. Um, don't write this down, but when you did these back in. That was a good time. Right, when you had the square root instead of the I sprinkler. Yeah. You multiplied by the complex conjugate, which was what? Three plus. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely final exam material. Okay, you're supposed to know how to get the hippies out of the basement. Okay. But this time they ain't hippies, they're ghosts. Good. Brain never stops working. Okay. Yeah. So, what are we going to multiply by? Complex conjugate, negative four plus i plus it plus i. Okay. So, we're going to foil top, foil bottom, and we're going to get negative two again. We'd better, right? So, foil with me up top. <clears throat> What do we get first? Negative 32. And you'll like this. What do you get outside? 
adi and inside minus adi wave bye bye to the adis and then what's last minus or no plus plus two i squared. What's that going to turn into? The twist. This is going to be what? Cross out change. And that gives you a total up top of negative 30 fold. Boil the bottom. What do you get first? 16. I guess I'll do it up here. And same deal. No middle terms ever when you do this right. And what's that? Minus I squared is going to turn into what? Cross out change. Plus nothing? Yeah. Plus one. So it's 17. Sure enough, what's our answer again? Negative two. At um, high flying honors group like this, you should know both ways for yourself. One or the other will get you by for me since I'm a big factor and cancel guy. Yeah. So that's it for complex numbers. Now, the reason you came today, I wasn't locked, was it? Yep. Okay. All right, so today, 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 let's talk about converting Rectangular, polar, polar to rectangular. And you're going to recognize a lot of these formulas. That's all I'll say. All right, but let's start a little chart here. And... Appropriately placed is chapter nine, polars right after chapter eight vectors. Okay. If we're going this way, do you guys remember? How did you find X and Y that were on your formula sheet? Let's go this way. Okay. Yes, I'm going the other way. Sorry. Here we go. These, these were your two shortcut formulas. What was the only difference? Last chapter, it had that, that around the vector. You don't have that today. Yeah. So two old friends here from vectors. That's how you're going to change R's and thetas into X's and Y's. You are. Exactly. And who remembers the formula for magnitude? Square root of x squared plus y squared, same formula. <laughs> and I know you remember this. How did you find theta? Inverse who? Same. Yeah. So all four of these are old news. You knew these last chapter. Okay. So I'll write them over here and we'll make use of them. And write yourself a little note, uh, A plus B, I, you can put A and B in place of X and Y. So not, not a new formula, just different. But, all right, so why don't we do points first, equation second, that'll do it for nine, three. Okay, points first, easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
try this one first. You got your calculator ready? Let's go. I give you eight comma sixty degrees. And I want, I want, I want. Well, what are they right now? What letter is this? And that's theta. How do you know? It's so smart. So that's R and theta, which means how about you plug them in and tell me what X and Y equal one decimal place. Nobody better miss this. well they get a little testitis sometimes Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Straight calculator. And if I'm in the right mode, what was it? Eight cosine 60 is that forward. And eight sine 60. Round it, please. 6.9 or right. The two doesn't round the nine up. So four comma six point now. Easy stuff there. Okay. Yeah. Let's go other direction. I give you, I give you negative six comma two. Are those R and theta? Heck no. Those are X and Y. So how about you plug those? into these two equations, give me R, give me theta. Beware of theta, just like on the vector test. I'll get the degree symbol ready so I don't lose the point. Yeah, so what'd you get when you squared them all? It's 40, right? Yeah. So 6.3, full credit. All right. And inverse tan, give me, give me y over x was what? 2 over negative 6. Okay. All right. Why is that wrong? Okay. Which quadrant was what was it, six negative two? Or negative six two. Which quadrant is negative six two in two? And that negative angle you just got is in quadrant four. So please, just like last unit, add your 180 if needed. So one six one point. Six, six degrees. Good. Bless you. Now I forgot what 6.3 1.6 1.6 right? Yeah. Points easy. But here it is. Wake your neighbor. We're going to do whole equations converting. We will use these forms. All right. 
Three of each, go in each direction. We got three where I give you rectangular and I want you to change them to polo. Looks innocent enough. What is it? What shape? A people. That's right. Well, this one is the monster. Okay. So don't write these down again, but to do this problem, you got to make some substitutions. Who you want to get rid of? Both X and Y. Hey, okay, you know you're done when it says R's and things. So who's Y? Okay, so straight in it goes. Okay, no more Y. How about X? Who's X? R cosine, but it's squared. So let's make it R squared cosine squared. Yikes. Just made it first. What's going on there? It's hideous. Look away. I'll write it down here and move it. Oh, you can't me. Okay, so last step, put it into form so that it says R equals. So how do you want to get the R's together? Any ideas? Divide. Oh, good. Let's divide both sides by R. I got you, crossed it out there. So what's left? Sine equals R, cosine squared. Last step, how do you get rid of uh, cosine squared so that it says R equals? Square root. Say again? Square root. Square root, we'll leave it as cosine. We, we want it out of here. Divide it. Okay. Now, boy, I'd like for that to be the final answer, because what did I tell you? You were done when you didn't have any more X and Y's, and it said R equals. So I'll give you full credit here. However, I apply an honors group. I'll give you extra credit if you can tell me, using identities, what this actually is. Oh. You see tangent in there? Me too. So, holy mackerel. What's tangent? What over what? So I got I, oh, multiplication split. I'll take a sine and one of the cosines, and what's left? One over the second cosine. So who is this tangent you said? But who's this? One over cosine is? Secant. So the final, 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 final answer for extra credit. I think I got it written down here. It's 10 secants. Yeah, but I'm oh I'm plenty happy if we just have gotten rid of X and Y and said R equals. Yeah. But truth be known, you are you have the ability to go further in life. Got something in my eye. Sorry. All right. One down, two to go. Let's see. All right. How about Easy. Name that shape, Conix. You said it. Circle with the center at zero, zero. No parentheses, no H, no K. And what's the radius? Three. You know this. Bless you. Okay. So we're going to convert this so that it says R equals. And I think you just told me the answer. What was the radius? Three, three. That's the answer. R equals three. But let's not, not skip steps. Remember, mom always said you skip steps, you're going to fall down. Okay, don't skip steps. 
Yeah. So who's leaving this guy? Oh, actually, I should ask you. What do you want to do first to get rid of X and Y? Square root? Let's do that. So you said square root, square root. Okay. I'll do this side. Square root of nine is three. And then do you see it? What is square root of X squared plus Y squared equal to? Yeah, but what is it equal to? R. It's, it's over. You're done when it says R's and thetas and no X and Y. Okay. Now, you said square root both sides. Okay. Someone's going to do it this way, and they're going to get full credit also. So I should at least show you. Okay, what if instead of square root both sides, you did this? Who's that? Not R. We got to get rid of the square root up here by squaring both sides. So you could say this equals R squared. And now do you see it's the same answer? R equals three. Do it either way. Guaranteed to be on the quiz. Guaranteed. Okay, but I might spice it up. Still a circle, but where's the center now? Final exam. What do we mean? You don't know HK? Close. Four zero. H is four, right? Okay, anyway, we got a while till the final exam. Two months. Oh my gosh, that's getting close. Okay. Uh, okay, so how do I, what do I, what's the extra step, this one? X minus four squared. <laughs> Say the word. No, that's wrong. Why? Boil. Let's go. X minus four times X minus four. Square that. In fact, I'll write it for you so that you can see what you're doing. That's what x minus 4 squared means. So what is it? x squared? Outsides and insides give you minus 8x. And then the last give you plus 16. All right. I bet you know what to do next. What could you cross out immediately? Gone. Okay. And I'll rewrite it on the next line. X squared. Oops, I wrote the Y squared next to it. <laughs> Wonder why I did that. Okay. What did X squared plus Y squared equal over here? So now I got R squared. Minus 8x. Am I done? What did we say? You're done when who's gone? X and Y. You probably know where to go now. Question? I subtracted 16 from both sides. All right. How about X? What's X going to go away and turn into? R cosine. Really? It's hard to believe. Can you hear me? Everyone can. <laughs> We're recording. Can you go with it? Give them signals. Hope he doesn't miss that. Oh, was that steel? Thanks. He did get the hit and run once, didn't he? Yeah. Did I imagine that? I think that was for. Because whoever it is didn't go. And then I think we took the pitch. We got work on him. Oh, no, he's such a happy man. He's always happy. All right, back to business. All right, we've gotten rid of X and Y, but it's done when it says what? R equals 
So you're going to do this. You're going to move our cosine over. Okay, you're going to move our cosine over here. And what's the last step to make it so R equals divide by an R? R equals cosine. Okay, and you know from last class, R equals cosine is a circle. What did you tell me before we started this problem? It was a circle. Okay, so it's all connected. All right, so star those. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not putting this one on the quiz. Not ready for that one. Um, but this one, you'd be ready for that one. Okay. Where'd the eight go? Where'd the eight go? Oh, yeah, where did the eight go? Thank you. So it was 8x, 8x, and suddenly I lost it. So add that. Thank you, watchdog. Whoa. Yeah, what, what were they? Were like that guy's nickname was Worm or something? They're like, be a dog worm? It's like that, that makes no sense. A worm can't be a dog. Yeah. Although he was the best one in the head. All right, let's go other direction and end it today. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Two of these will be on the quiz. Let's end it. All right, the first one says R equals five. Name that shape. Circle and raise five. So could you cheat and go right to here? Yes, you could. But let's do it the old fashioned way. No? Okay, yeah. We're going to use our conversion formulas. Who's R? Yeah, square root of x. This is the long way, but it'll work. And get rid of the square root by squaring both sides done. Okay. And remember, you're done when it's in standard form for whatever the shape is. And the shape was a circle, so it's x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Easy problem. Yeah. Yeah. But am I right? You didn't even have to do the, the actual step if you knew what your conics were. All right. One down, two to go. I think I want to just put this one in. <laughs> Okay, these last two, hope you're paying attention. These are the toughest two of the whole chapter. Is that something? One of them. Okay, so you probably know because we keep doing like the same problem over and over. Do you know this shape? It's a circle. This is a circle again. Okay, however, it's off center a little bit. So what could we do? What's another name for this? Well, it's almost Y, but what's it missing? It's missing an R. What are you gonna do, cry? Yes. How about you add your own R to both sides? You're allowed to do that. But star that one, this is a trick, okay? If you put an R on both sides, who's this? It's R squared, which is gonna turn into this, which equals three, who? Okay, and I'm giving you full credit there because what I say, you're done when the R's and thetas are gone. I think Bob, you remember Bob, back of the book's probably going to run the 3y over there. 
whatever. Okay, and the best for last. Yeah, this will separate the A's from the corrections pile in the uh, test. Theta equals. Anyone remember what shape it is? It is a line for our. Okay, don't write this down, but what's what, what's form, proper form for a line? Y equals. Okay. So we're we're done when it looks like that. Okay. Star this one too. This is your other trick today. What's the only formula we got with that one? Hand inverse y over x. But here's another way to write it. Instead of tan inverse, write it that way. And now I think you'll you'll like where we're headed with this. What's theta? 35. And 35. Okay. And besides the calculator piece, what's the only thing you gotta do to make it y by itself? Times times x. Times x. So in the calculator or unit circle, whoever you want to be, who's that? It's a number. It's definitely a number. Negative one? I think that's right. Okay. So now multiply, you said, by x. So y equals negative one x. That, do you need the one? No. Do you need a plus zero for the y-intercept? No. But start out. Uh, the only thing I will ever change is the number. So it's going to be the exact problem on the test. Probably not, please, but good. Good. Okay. So that is it for us. Yes. But last question. <laughs> This thing is how you write a tangent. You know that from quad points and all. Tan is y over x. If you multiply both sides by x, it says y equals x tan. So the x is still there, but tan got the 135 and went in there that. Best I can do. Yep. All right. Good work. See you at the quiz. See you at the quiz.